Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today, I hope you enjoy this video that I'm presenting on an easy project for all of you that have pickup trucks. Whether you have a cap on or if you don't have a cap, you can still use this idea. Now, this idea is for transporting whatever you have in your back of your box that you want to transport it safely. And sometimes if you just think about planning the most logical things that you're constantly transporting, well then, you know, you can design your particular situation that you have to match the products that you actually transport a lot. I've got four of these totes and I transport these constantly. Sometimes only two, sometimes only one, sometimes all four, right? Then I got gas cans. I'm always transporting gasoline from here up to my camp in Northern Ontario. So you got to actually transport something safely. You just can't have it flopping around the back of your truck going, you know, all over the place. So it's got to be secure, right? And the whole idea behind this video is a way that you can transport stuff safely and secure. Because remember, anything that comes out of your truck is your responsibility. Your insurance company is going to say, hasta la vista, because we're not paying for anything that falls out of your truck. Now I just want a little bit of a personal experience myself. One day I made like $150, you know, for free, picking up lumber. And I'm up in Northern Ontario and I'm going along my road. And of course my road is up and down and up and down and bumpy and this kind of stuff for miles and miles and miles before I get to my camp. And just before the first hill that comes to my place, I see some two by fours in the middle of the road. So what do I do? I stop, pick up the two by fours, put them in the back of my truck. I go a little bit further down. I'm finding two by fours, two by six, two by, I'm finding lumber constantly, maybe over the next five miles. I must've picked up $150 worth of lumber. And, and you know, that was because somebody was hauling lumber in the back of their truck and it was falling out the back and they had no idea. So that's what you want to try to prevent, right? This is the whole idea of the video. Okay, so one of these. You can buy these pretty well anywhere. So they're like, they're, they're called, uh, I guess, milk uh, containers or that kind of stuff. And they fit a propane tank, a 20 pound propane tank perfectly. So I put my propane tank in there and I designed this system so I can put a propane tank, I can put a gasoline tank, I can, you know, modify it any way I want, and they will stay down secure. Now, when I'm talking about secure, I'm talking about just using a ratchet strap, you know, like this. They're good for like a thousand pounds, and there's nothing that I'm hauling here that is close to a thousand pounds. Like the most I would get in one of these totes is maybe 25, 30 pounds, just bringing up tools and that kind of thing. And uh, when you're thinking about the, the hardware that you use, yeah, I'm using quarter inch. I'm using quarter inch uh, screws, nothing cheesy. You know, don't go cheap, right? Or if you want, use carriage bolts. You can bolt this all together. So what I'm gonna do first is I'll take you off the tripod and I'll show you what these look like. And remember, you can design this to the toast that you have or the gas cans you have or whatever else that you constantly transport and just kind of shape it for your needs. So let's take a look and uh, before I put this in the back of the truck and show you how this all works, I'll show you the two boards that I bought. All I bought was two eight footers, two by six by eight feet, and I just cut them to the sizes that I needed. And uh, let's take a look. Okay, so this is just the design here and you can see I put some uh, white silicone caulking in all the cracks, you know, so it doesn't just stay with water in it. And uh, you can see I did put some tie downs. Now this one here, this is gonna be on the, uh, on the rear, closest to the tailgate. And this one here is gonna be up by the front of the box. This one here has got no hardware on it at all, except just the screws holding this in. And I did put some construction adhesive in between, clamped them, and then I screwed it all together. So, I mean, this is a very easy design. Anybody can build this kind of thing. And all I did, well, is I put four screws at each end. 
you know, and, uh, you know, it's very simple to do. And uh, I'm going to take you out to the truck. I'm going to put these in the back. Now, generally, I'll only have this one in most of the time. But I can also put this one in when I need it. Or just leave them out like what I would usually do for the winter. Because uh, I'm not transporting this kind of stuff in the winter. So let's go to the truck and I'll show you how this all works. Well, that's how they just slide in. And you can see how you just bring it across, slide it down. And they slide in very easily. And if you take a look at this side, yeah, you can see how that just notches to go in there. And, uh, you know, now I put these tie downs in separately. You know, they didn't come from the factory like that. But as you can see here, well, that just fits right in the slot, right? Very easy to take out. And the distance from, the, from this board to this board was something that you have to adjust yourself for your needs and the distance between here and the back when your tailgate is closed is something that you can adjust just by adding more blocking whichever way you want to go but either way if you have a cap or if you don't have a cap even if you just put one of these boards right straight across just like this one just the one board by itself you know, you go to the store, you buy something, it stays in here and it doesn't shift forward on you all the time. And you know, for the price of a board, it's well worth it. So now I'll show you how this is all designed and how it comes in so handy when you're trying to transport something safely traveling the highways. Okay, let's start off at the back here. I got one of these milk crates here and my gas can. And you can just take a look there and you could see, yeah, there's a little bit of space here at this end left because I can put two gas cans there or I can put two propane tanks here. And the whole idea is, well, I got the tie downs over there and I got the tie downs on this side that I can put it through, you know, my, uh, my gas can and through the top of the propane tank over to the other side and it's all secured. So then I got some other tie downs here for different size loads that I'm using that if I want to put something on this side I can strap it on this way here with my ratchet strap and moving on to this side here you can see that this was made exactly for these totes with very little slack in between you can see that there's just a little bit of slack but it was made and designed for that right there now there's a tie down down in the corner there and there's a tie down down in the corner on here and what I do is I get the ratchet strap and feed it through the top. See on the top on the far side, you got these holes going all the way around. I feed it through here, down to the uh, tie down, across the whole top. I feed it through either this one or this one. These tie downs here. So this one here, you can go from here right across to the other side and then down on that side and these bins wouldn't go nowhere and the strap is on top of it so even if you were to get into an accident or anything these aren't coming flying out and these will just come out like this so just imagine now I've got four bins now these ones here the exact same way I would just have this bin over here and I do the exact same thing, bring the ratchet straps out, except this time I can use this one here and I can use that one there on the far side right there to secure it. So it's all down secure and it's not going anywhere. Well, if you're wondering about these totes, how they actually work, you could see the holes in here, right? And of course the lid matches up with it and they're pretty watertight. I mean, I didn't want big totes because guess what? You get a bigger tote, it's a lot heavier, right? And uh, this is them right there. And I just get these at Home Depot, 10 bucks each. And this is a new one. I got two new ones and I got two older ones that have to be 10, 12 years old that I've been using that I threw in my F-150 when I got a cap on, just throw them inside there and it was fine. But when you're going down the highway, I have seen so much stuff on the side of the roads, especially the lids of totes, people that wrapped up stuff that they didn't want to get wet, I guess, in garbage bags, 
throw it on the side of the road because you know what the wind gets a hold of this stuff and it just goes everywhere and of course if you've ever seen an accident scene where somebody you see them they're heading up to their cottage during the summertime and they got the back of their pickup truck just loaded up with everything you get into an accident and it's all over the highway so I mean now now you've got a lot more to deal with with just you know dealing with the accident you have the after effects of being charged for not having a secure load and all the damages involved thereafter so I mean for me it's very easy just to get one of these you know ratchet straps just weave it through make sure it's tied down good bungee cords no 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 no. never mind that bungee cord stuff that's not gonna last right so I mean if you want to hold down something that weighs you know 200 pounds you get a thousand pound ratchet strap and, and you're fine you know your liability is reduced it shows that you actually made an effort to have a secure load. I mean, even if you do just get stopped by the, uh, you know, the Ministry of Transport on the side of the road, at least it looks as if you made some kind of an effort to secure your load. Because if you made no effort at all, you're getting a ticket, at least a ticket, and uh, you're not leaving the highway unless it is secured. So, I mean, if you don't have ratchet straps on you, nah, you ain't going anywhere. So, it's best to be prepared. And this is the first pickup truck I've had without a cap. And I think I like it better without a cap than with a cap for my needs because me crawling inside the back of that cap all the time, always to go to the front to get something, them days are over. At least now I can just hop up in the back of the tailgate there, go inside, get whatever I want, take it on, take it off. I can carry taller items that I restricted to before, you know, and I've got lots of tie downs in that box and I got lots of ratchet straps. So thanks for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little bit of a, you know, an idea on how you could actually, you know, manufacture your own with just using some regular, you know, two by six lumber. And all pickup trucks have them slots: one in the back, one in the front. They got a couple on the sides for, uh, you know, horizontal loads. So I mean, yeah, make use of the box the way it was designed, and uh, have a safe trip. So thanks for joining me here today. Come back again. If you've ever seen this channel before, well, you're welcome to subscribe and see some more things that I think of that I like to help you with too. Cheers.